Welcome to where today we're diving into the fascinating process of diffusion. But what exactly is diffusion? Well, it's the spontaneous movement of particles from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. And believe it or not, this process is essential for the functioning of our cells. Picture this. Inside our cells, there's a complex network of structures and molecules working together to keep everything running smoothly. One of the key players in this intricate system is the cell membrane. Like a gatekeeper, it regulates the diffusion of substances in and out of the cell. The cell membrane is a selectively permeable barrier, meaning it allows certain molecules to pass through while blocking others. This selectivity is what ensures the cell maintains its internal environment, allowing it to function optimally. So, what types of molecules can diffuse across the cell membrane? Well, small, nonpolar molecules like oxygen and carbon dioxide can easily slip through the membrane. They happily move from areas of high concentration, such as the environment outside the cell, to areas of low concentration inside the cell. But what about water? We call diffusion of water molecules osmosis. It's a specialized form of diffusion where water moves from an area of low solute concentration to an area of high solute concentration. This allows the cell to balance the concentrations of solutes inside and outside its walls. Now it's not just small nonpolar molecules and water that can pass through the cell membrane. Larger or polar molecules need a little extra help. That's where specialized proteins come into play. These proteins act as escort services for these molecules, facilitating their diffusion across the cell membrane. But what if a cell needs to move molecules against the concentration gradient from areas of low concentration to areas of high concentration? That's where active transport comes in. Active transport is like the superhero of diffusion. It requires energy input from the cell and specialized proteins, often referred to as pumps, to actively move molecules against the concentration gradient. So in summary, diffusion is the process that allows our cells to maintain the right balance of molecules they need to function. It's nature's way of ensuring the survival and proper functioning of every cell in our bodies. We hope you found this journey into the microscopic world of cells and diffusion both fascinating and enlightening. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, bye for now.